Hey guys, so uh, welcome along to another video. I learned that one there off Guy Maxwell. Um, here we are at Sorter's Workshop. Uh, it's Monday, it's a public holiday actually. Here they call it a bank holiday. Um, had a good good weekend at racing. Obviously you've seen the video about Mitch at Bradford and then uh, we went and checked out Sheffield as well. Um, today we woke up this morning, got a beautiful breakfast from Zoe Sorter. Um, massive shout out as well to Zoe and Mick for putting us up, um, you know, like coming halfway around the world. And then, um, yeah, just, just putting us up, really looking after us, uh, making us feel real at home. Um, anyway, we've spent the day uh, working on Charlie's car, getting ready for the world final. Um, it just got stuck and done a bit of work. Charlie's there, sorting tyres and bits and pieces out. Mick's just come back from a truck show. Myself, I've been there um, helping out as well, so it's been, been a good day, actually. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, head on inside, catch up with Mitch and uh, Charlie, and uh, take a look around, and Charlie can show us, you know, because he speaks proper English, not like the Dutch boys, we can uh, actually probably understand him a bit more. Let's go. Alright guys, what's up here at uh, Sorter's workshop, come and check out the cars. Um, we're about 45 minutes from Northampton. Um, this is the car I'm going to be using at the F1 World Final this year. Uh, it's Andy Smith built car, uh, was raced by Mick Sorter and also Charlie the last um, couple of seasons. Uh, Mick took it out of Northampton a few weeks back. Uh, track was pretty wet but it's, uh, no issues so far, so I'm just going to give the steel work a bit of a tidy up, get myself comfortable in the car, uh, a few adjustments to the seat and whatnot, and um, hopefully we're going to make it out to Kings Lynn next week, spin some laps and get used to it. Uh, this is a small block Chev powered car, uh, transit front and rear axles, Doug Nash uh, gearbox, and they run the standard shocks and brakes and all that that are controlled, so everyone here has the same. So this here is uh, Charlie Sorter, you guys probably recognise him from when he came over to New Zealand for the 240s, um, racing my car last year. This is his new show car, I think he's only run it for about two meetings is yeah, it? Yeah, two meetings old, yeah. We'll let him uh, talk us through this one. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty much the same as Dad's to be fair, we, we pretty much based it off that. Uh, Transit axles, Dunn Rash gearbox, uh, Simon Rogers built engine, pretty much the same as Dad's. He's taking car. Big, we have a boy. She's a big. He's the best mate, really. He's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> takes every opportunity to put us out with the nobles on. But uh, yeah, like I said, he's pretty much the same as Dad's. Uh, built by Carl Gilbert. Um, obviously, it was built it, built down at his place, and then we we did the like the fidgets and touches and put it together, and then pretty much the same. It's a bit of a different seat to normal. Uh, it's like a custom custom seat. Uh, you put like a a resin in and, and mould it round you. But other than that, it's pretty much um, pretty much the same. So, so this car, pretty much um, good to go for the world final. Spent a little bit of time doing some steel work on it. Now just uh, scale it up and sort some wheels and tyres. Yes, to go in. scale it up, wheels and tyres, have a run around with you at them and uh, yeah, we're pretty much there with this one. Probably gonna fence them at practice, but you know, that's so right. <laughs> All right, so now you guys check out the cars. Um, not too much else to see here at the minute. We'll do another few updates later once the car's all tidied up, signed and ready to go. But uh, Mick and Charlie are gonna take us around their workshop here, uh, show us a few things. There's hundreds of trophies, panels, so all sorts of memorabilia and stuff. So we'll get a bit of a tour of the workshop for you guys.
Mary, what do you think of uh, the Kiwis in, in the UK? Uh, do you like it that they come over and race? Well, it depends if they can handle the heat from Charlie. Oh, yeah, do you think they're going to beat him this year? Probably not. Do you think the Kiwis are ever going to win the world final here? Probably not, apart from Mitch, but... All right, any parting words before we leave your workshop alone? No. I think it was me and uh, another friend of mine at the time, Gary Chisholm. We, we built this between us, and um, Zoe's dad um, he helped us out building it. And uh, we built it for me, and I raced and we won the British Championship at Swatham 99. I think it was so it was a few years ago. And it's just because we won the championship, we just decided to keep it, and it's sat here ever since. And overgrown, as you can see. One of the things that never be sold, so we'll just leave it there. <laughs> Rebuild it one day. <laughs> this is Larson, named after Kyle Larson and his speed. This is why we named him. Hello. So this is uh, my world final trophy that you, everyone gets if they win it. Um, a fair few names on there, yeah? Yeah, there's a lot of names. I think it goes back to like 1959 or something like that. So, and then these two are the ones that you get to keep like forever. So this uh, this trophy is, is quite a special trophy because um, it's for Young Driver of the Year. And basically John Lund donated this this trophy, which was the the trophy that he won World Final. So, so I got given this one down here and this is the one that John got to keep. And... Uh, his son passed away and then he donated the trophy for the young driver of the year. So um so there's a lot of meaning behind this this trophy really rather than it, it just being a, a ten cup sort of thing. So uh yeah it was it was really nice to um to be voted and, and won Young Driver of the Year last year. Yeah.